Lafayette turns deadly. Four people shot, two dead. Police say the party was after the UL football game with about 300 people gathered in Moore Park. Moore Park is off of University Avenue north of I-10 between Lafayette and Karen Crow. Police believe a fight led to the shooting that killed 19-year-old Jakari Clark and 18-year-old Nathaniel Sharpley. Chris Welty is joining us live at Moore Park. And Chris, how are the two other victims that are being treated in a hospital doing tonight? A 20, year, a 20 year old woman was treated and released from the hospital and an 18 year old male is listed in stable condition at an area hospital. Right now, police, they do not have any suspect information that they're releasing, but they are combing through a lot of evidence, including videos on social media. This video posted on social media shows hundreds of people at Moore Park overnight. The group listening to music, some dancing and drinking. The video shows a DJ set up at the concession stand near the soccer field. So it started out as a party and somewhere in there, the, a fight amongst the crowd broke out and shortly thereafter there was a gunfire. It's unclear how many shots were fired or if there was more than one person shooting. Police can be seen giving CPR as medics pull up. The scene quickly clearing out after the shooting. We found multiple shoes scattered in the parking lot, left behind from people who may have been running from the shooting. Hours later, police still combing the area in daylight looking for clues. As far as like uh, casings, uh, video, anything like that. So uh, we're, we're just trying to bring whoever uh, was responsible for this to justice. At one point, detectives using a magnet searched a nearby coolie in hopes of finding the gun. Sergeant Wayne Griffin with the Lafayette Police Department says the next 24 to 48 hours will be crucial. Uh, they're going to be doing a lot of uh, leg work. we got every detective out here working, trying to figure this thing out. So it's extremely critical. Son is friends with the two men who died. She says, quote, they were good men who didn't deserve this. Lafayette police say if you have any information to call them or Crime Stoppers at 232 tips. Live in Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. New cases of